the PlayStation 2 was the best-selling console. Just period. I grew up with one of these, well, more accurately, probably three or four of them, and ever since then I foolishly sold mine for a PS3. I've been looking for a way to get those games back, or get my childhood back, so to speak. I don't care about the console, I care about the games. There is one specific game that I want to play, and to me it's not worth the 250 to $300 to play that one specific game. Between PlayStation 2 and the game itself. On top of that, it's a little cramped in my one-bedroom apartment, so we're going to make a small emulator console along with, you know, other various reasons. Namely being, I'm a computer guy, not a PlayStation guy. But to me, this will play just PlayStation 2 games. However, what we're doing should translate to playing other games. And just to put this out there, this is not a tutorial just a step-by-step -step of the things I did and what happened. Anyway, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 4 that I bought in 2019. Finally. Bought this thing, just left it in the box, never used it. Finally took it out of the box for this. I also picked up a 128 gig micro SD card and a micro HDMI to HDMI cable because the Pi 3 had a full-sized HDMI, and the Pi 4 does not. All right, anyway, I'll be using an emulation OS called Laka. It's basically a Linux distro that does emulator stuff. It'll be linked in the description below. Installing it was fairly simple. Just select the OS you're currently using so that it can tailor instructions to what you're doing. Windows, for me, the hardware you're using or installing LACA on, and I honestly can't believe this will install on a Nintendo Switch, but anyway, after you just download the ISO and the etcher, to flash the ISO to your micro SD card, just creating a bootable drive, plug the SD card into your system and you're ready for first boot in all of five minutes, that was record time. The first boot went well, just started right up. I was able to connect my Pi 4 to the Wi-Fi with the built-in drivers and the OS looks a lot like a PS3's OS, so it was familiar and intuitive to me. After that, I wasn't able to find the lack of on my network devices to transfer the games over. That wasn't a huge deal. I just restarted the system and it worked a second time around. Then I was able to open the lack of folder, lack of folder in my network devices, go into the ROMs folder in the lack of folder, and transfer the files from my PC to the lack of. And this took probably two hours. Just slow network speeds. It happens. Tried it. No, the first game took a couple hours. Second game was pretty quick. Just weird stuff happened. But anyway, once the game was on the system, I went over to the plus icon and clicked scan this directory and added the game to the console. From there, I was able to launch it using the core that was already built into LACA. And this is kind of where we ran into issues. So I tried that a couple of times. And every time I tried to launch the game, it would sit in a loading screen for about five minutes. And then it would just kick me back out of the OS. So after doing a little bit of Googling, I figured out that this is most likely due to just hardware incompatibility with the Raspberry Pi 4 and just trying to emulate PS2 games. It just doesn't work. There's a bunch of people who have been having the same issue. So, if it can't run PS2 games, well, what can it do? What use is it to me? The Pi 4 is a little too fast to run the included games on the console, or on LACA, because they're all, like, really old emulator games that are based on processor speed, so the 
processor in the Pi 4 is just too fast. The games just go crazy. So it can't do that. But it can do is emulate just about any other game from any other console prior to the PS2 Xbox generation. So anything before that, you should be good to run. Um, just not PlayStation 2, which means that this was a... How much did this cost me? A undisclosed dollar amount waste. Especially because Pi 4s are freaking expensive right now. I might just sell mine. Um, but honestly, out of the box, the included games just didn't run too well. And it... You know, we're trying to run a PS2 emulator, not an N64 emulator, so we'll try again in the next one. But I do have a computer coming in in July that'll be perfect for this because we need more gutter, we need more processing power than the Pi 4 has, but I don't think we need 12th Gen i7 processing power. I'm not a rocket doctor, so I don't think we need that much. And the system I've got coming in in July will be just perfect for this, so subscribe to see that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and of course, subscribe.